So we have, from the server, we have a, an array. We have a, qu a quiz object that we have retrieved for that particular ID. Uh, and now we want to iterate over the questions in that, in that uh, array of questions. So that's easy. We've done this uh, several times, right? So let's do that, um, uh, let's do that real quick. And uh, we can um, create here a, maybe a UL, style it as a list group. And then in here, just display each one of the questions. Right? So this might be uh, li, class as a list group item. Uh, and in here, we can, um, we can iterate over all the questions in the quiz.questions. Right? So uh, ng4, uh, let question of quiz.questions. Again, notice that we are, our, 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 our main object is the quiz object, right? And then we, we are generating everything from down below. Uh, all right, so in here we can render then maybe the question, uh, that title. Let's see, let's see if we can do that. There it is, it's question one and question two, right? Uh, maybe we can render it as an H4, right? And uh, right, there it is, question one and question two. Uh, maybe we can render also the uh, the points, how many points uh, the uh, the question is, and I think we're going to render it towards the the right hand side. So maybe we can put that in a span and put here uh, the points. So this would be question dot points. There it is. So there it is. T Ten points, twenty points, and we can maybe push that to the right hand side uh, by using um, float right. Oops, what happened here? Float right. There it is, All right? Something like that. Uh, and down below, we can maybe have a, the description and a paragraph, something like this. So paragraph, the description, question, description, underneath. Everybody okay? All right. Uh, so ideally, what, what we would like to do here is that, you know, depending on the type of the question, we would like to render one way or render another way, okay, depending on the type of the question. And there's, there's, a, there's a couple ways of doing that. Uh, the, uh, the easiest way would be to uh, use um, something like uh, um, uh, ng-hidden or ng-show. Uh, those are uh, logical operators on, in Angular that allow you to provide a Boolean expression. And depending on that Boolean expression, uh, you, do, you, you either render or don't render. You either show or don't show a particular piece of content. Okay? We could do that. Right? We could say, well, if the widget type is equal to whatever, uh, fill, fill blanks, uh, then show this piece of content. Otherwise, don't show it. Okay? Uh, but uh, let's, uh, let's use a, a, a little more sophisticated uh, way of doing this. Uh, instead, we're going to use a, um, uh, uh, a set of uh, um, attributes, uh, Angular attributes, that deal with this issue. Right? Deal, deal with this issue uh, typically is um, when, um, when you have a component that actually has different versions of the same thing, right? like we have. Right? It, the question is the component, uh, but it has different versions. Right? It has a, a fill-in-the-blanks version. It has a multiple-choice version, a true-false version. Uh, so, so to uh, to do that, uh, we're going to use a, what is called an ng switch uh, attribute. Right? Ng switch allows you to handle these kinds of um, rendering. Right? Depending on some logical value, we're going to compare that value against multiple possible values. Right? And whenever whenever that matches, whenever it matches that particular value. Then we, we uh, uh, th then the content is is rendered right. Whatever content is rendered. So so this DOM over here, this DOM element is only rendered if the widget size is equal to one. It renders this. All the elements are not rendered at all. They're not they're not even added to the to the DOM whatsoever, right? Uh, here as well, right? If the widget size compares uh, equally to two, uh, then the second one is rendered, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of what we have, right? Uh, in ours, it'll be 
based on the question type. Right? And the question type, we're going to compare it against uh, whether it's true false, uh, whether it's um, film blanks or uh, essay and whatnot, will render different content. Yes? All right, so let's play around with that. Let's see. Uh, so it looks like the, um, the question title is the same for all of them. They all have this question title. They all have a question description. Uh, but the later, right, they're slightly different. Right? If, it's a, if it's a true false, it has maybe two check boxes. Right? If, it's, uh, if it's an essay, it has a text area. Right? If it's a multiple choice, it has a whole bunch of check uh, radio buttons. Okay? So, so depending on the type, it'll render different things. So let's see how we could use this new technique to do this, right? So for instance, what we could do is have a, um, a parent div uh, to, to host the ng switch, where we're going to have the expression, right? And then we're going to compare it, and depending on what it's equal to, we'll render different, different values, okay? So for instance, we might have one div to handle, a, let's see, uh, H3, uh, true, false, true, false. So let's uh, let's implement four of these. True, false. We have uh, fill in the blanks. And uh, then we have here maybe uh, multiple choice, and we have an essay. Yes. Right now they're all rendering. If we go here. Right, they rendered many times. Right, for for this question, it renders all four. In here, it renders again all four. So what we'd like to be able to do is, based on the on the question type, only render true false, or only render fill in the blanks, or only render essay, and, and so on and so forth. Make sense? And drive that logic uh, on the on the client. All right, so so we're going to be comparing against uh, the following. So here's ng switch. ng switch. It's going to be comparing against a, an, an expression. It's going to evaluate the following expression that we give it here. In this case, it's question dot question type. Right? And based on the question type, uh, it'll would, would like to be rendered one or another. Make sense? OK. Uh, so again, this is this is this is reading uh, from the question type, right? and it's going to be generating. It's going to be generating a switch case. It's going to be generating a new DOM. It's going to render the uh, DOM based on the following expression. It's going to compare question type against whatever we put in here. Okay. So what are the, all the va valid types? So true false, I think it was true underscore false. Yes? So we can say if it's equal to true underscore underscore false. Okay? Uh, and this one, this other one is, I forget. Do you remember? I think in the, in the schema, we can take a look at the schema, the question schema, question schema. These are all the valid ones. So essay for essay here, right? Uh, fill in blanks for this one, fill in the blanks. Multiple choice is just choice. Okay? All right? Uh, if we go back, notice that none of them render. Now, why is that? Maybe we don't have question type. Maybe something is wrong with the question type. Let's see. Let's render the question type right above it, maybe right after this paragraph. All right? Let's, uh, let's render the question dot question type. It looks like we do have the question type. Notice that it's essay. We have fill in the blanks. But for some reason, the, these are always coming back as false somehow. None of these are true. Okay? And the reason is that, uh, by default, these, these, um, whatever you provide as an argument here, by default, it treats them as variables. Okay? It looks and says, oh, the, there must be a variable called true underscore false. Uh, I will evaluate the value of that, of that variable, and I'll compare it against question type. So instead here, what we'd like to be able to do is, is give it a literal, right, a literal string. So to do that, we're, gonna, we're going to 
put quotes around this. It says, no, this is not a variable. Okay, this is an actual little string that I want you to compare against. Okay, so let's uh, add quotations around all these. There we go. Well, let's go back. All right, so notice that indeed now it's working. Notice that it's uh, rendering either essay or fill in the blanks, right, based on the, on the question type uh, variable. Make sense? Everybody good? Okay. 